Hi guys, Chris from ChrisandLarry.com. Merry Christmas to you. We have a whole of videos and upcoming tutorials coming out over the next two weeks of all different homemade ornaments and different ways to decorate your house. Now, now the one I want to use today and show you today is a garland that I use and love because it's all natural and it's something that you made and it lets off this gorgeous smell. Now, what it is is dehydrated oranges that I have sliced and they've actually gotten way thinner once they start cooking. You're going to throw them in the oven on a piece of parchment paper for um, an hour, flip them over, and then you're going to put them back in for another hour, but you're going to want to check on them. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is because oranges are full of sugar and sugar in the oven will burn and they will burn. I will show you this one. I will not be using on my garland. I will actually throw this one into my simmering uh, potpourri pot that I've got on my stove, um, my wood stove that I do use. Now, I will show you, this is a really easy technique. Now, I use the four ply corded jute. You can use the thin jute that they sell at the dollar store. This, I think, cost me about eight or ten dollars at Walmart and I use it constantly it's, it's starting to finally get a little bit thinner on the inside because you can see how much I'm using you're gonna cut the length of your jute as long as you want your garland you can make it as long or as short as you want I'm gonna put this over my my French doors so this will be a real pretty um, decoration for Christmas time so you're gonna cut your jute and then you're gonna fold it in half so you know where your center line is once you get your halfway mark, and let me untangle here for a second. Once you get your halfway mark, then you'll know where to put your very first orange. Now to do this, you can use a pair of scissors, you can use a pair of tweezers, or you can even just use, like this is just a mechanical pencil, you can use a pen cap if you wanted to. And you're gonna go ahead and poke a hole in and then you're gonna go about a third of the way across and poke a second hole in, okay? All I'm doing is taking and stringing my jute through, let me find the right side here, stringing the jute through the two holes that I created. I'm gonna go in one side, pull it through to where you want it on your garland, and you're gonna go out through the other. Now the easiest way for the jute is to take some clear tape and tape around, just the clear, the invisible tape, just tape around like the shoelaces have so that you can put it right through. At the end you can snip that off or you can take the tape off. But this makes a beautiful addition to your Christmas decor where you can put it over doors, you can put it in the back of your classroom like what I'm going to do in the springtime. You can even throw it on your Christmas tree and it looks really nice. So like, subscribe, follow, and I will have pictures in on our website. Guys, have a Merry Christmas.